Hey guys, Eric here at the Community Garden and welcome back to our channel. Um, I'm one of the education specialists for Eastern Banks Learning and Life Center. This community garden was created in partnership with Divine Outreach Ministries um, to provide access to land for community members that wanted to learn how to grow their own food and those of that were already avid gardeners. So um, I'm here right now working on the rows. I just raked up all of those leaves, so many leaves here at the garden. I'm just gonna add them. It probably, I don't, I don't know if I'll do it today, but soon those leaves will be added to this pile here. And this pile is just full of leaves and um, broken down tree parts. So wood chips, you know, that's the word I was looking for, wood chips. But we're actually just cleaning up the garden because I haven't been here in some weeks, cleaning up the garden. And we're gonna be adding more compost to the rows right now. I probably will use those same leaves just to cover up because I don't know if we'll be planting right now. But, um, so we're gonna just get that done. Make sure to subscribe, comment, share, like this video, and let's get a move on. What I'm actually doing is we got soil from here, the soil three bag, and I need to order some more. Um, and then we're also grabbing some soil, well, not soil, but compost from our homemade pile. I had already flipped it, so the actual pile is there, but we have some still in here. not all the way broken down yet so it still has a few pieces of large chunks but overall it's really good all right guys we are done with this row i'm gonna just plant some carrots radishes um, and uh, something that decompose all the way. Um, radishes, carrots, probably some lettuce. I was gonna do the other rows, but it's already sundown time, so I don't, I'm not gonna have enough time to do that. So I'm gonna come later this week and do it. But you see how we still have snap peas growing? so cool so i'm gonna come later this week remove this trellis um add more compost to all the rows and then all of these leaves gonna be added to that pile over there um and i'd also have to come and flip the compost pile too so um but yeah i did want to show you guys the potatoes that were growing I'm gonna add a thin layer of compost to this area. Something's, one, something's eating the potatoes. And then two, the soil, the top of the, oop, I just killed a zinnia. Oh well, the top of the soil is drying. So, um, we gotta handle that. But yeah, everything's going okay here. And then we have to replace this raised bed here all of the wood that made it started decomposing. I think there are termites over here. There was a pile of termites that I uncovered under the leaves. So yeah, I don't think we can use wood in that area anymore. And I don't even know if I'm gonna use that compost or the soil to put in the bed because it may be, um, it may be, termites in it so I don't know and also 
there are um <gasps> no oh no i just found a hive of hornets and i thought we got rid of them oh jesus so you see those little pockets of soil that are red and not dark brown or black i just stumped real hard that's what you saw me do and like three little hornets just flew out so i have to go purchase more of that what's it called the wasp stuff i'm not trying to get stung again nor do i want any other garden member to get stung this is horrible okay i thought we got rid of them but clearly not all right well we got to take care of that well, i knew i had a feeling we had more of them here in the garden okay that's a little upsetting that we have those little hornets in the garden again okay um well that's what happens when you are a gardener. Um, you have to deal with insects that are a little bit dangerous. And there's no telling how many of them are actually living underneath the soil because there are so many entrances, those little tiny holes. There's so many, it's like 15, 15 10 to 15 total holes. So there's no telling like how many hornets there actually are. Um, so I have to take care of that before I even add more soil. Because even if I just add more soil, they're just gonna burrow through the soil and make it to the top of the surface. The surface. Um, but okay, let me just clean up here and break down everything thank you guys so much for watching make sure to check us out on tiktok um we'll be keeping you guys updated there in regards to the little hornet issue that i just uncovered but make sure to follow us on tiktok project grape um subscribe here to our channel follow us on our facebook instagram eblc inc and we'll see you all later in the garden bye